All right, what's up, guys? You saw nothing, game. <laughs> Okay, so, uh, speak of the devil and he appears, yes. I'm kidnapped, Kappa. Effing bomb, just use your mod powers to break out. <laughs> so, let's, let's try using Google Chrome this time. I did restart from safe mode. Uh, I can't run that program either uh, while in safe mode because it requires the internet. <laughs> yeah, Windows 8's not going to let me use the internet. I can see it now. Nope. Oh wow, look, my internet's all of a sudden working for some reason. Let's see, does Windows have a Twitter? See Windows 8, Windows 8.1. Everyone, see what I see, guys. Look at this. I'm tweeting out at Windows right now. My desktop constantly crashes after updates, or with each update. And I'm being referred. third-party sites to upload dump files what do I what do I do yeah after each you know what I'm not even going to tweet them that. I'm just going to say, let's see, my desktop constantly crashed with each update. <laughs> Stream till March. <coughs> From January 1st. Before crashes and clean installs began. Like, I'm sorry. Cool, I'm about to reach 4,000 followers. See the rest of my stats at Twitter counter. Oh, nice, Windows 8. Is there a Windows support? Let's see. Will I have to? Will I have to buy constant, um, you know, programs to make sure my Windows 8 runs? I don't know. Yeah, everything should run in safe mode. I hate when stuff won't. Well, guess what? I have no internet in safe mode because it's safe mode.
<laughs> that account is not legit. Windows. What about this one that has 5.15 million followers? Is this Windows? Okay. Let's see, desktop ran from January to March, no problems, then it started crashing for no reason. And I've had to clean install. Slash driver. Yeah. Install. User joined your channel. What up, man? What's up, Shinto? Shinto? Or Shino? My bad. Jeez, man. Jeez. That didn't take you long. No. Uh, it was just an episode of a new anime that I wanted to watch. I'm going to bug a friend of mine in the team speak real quick. M3K3Y joined your channel. What up, guys? What up, guys? Hey, uh, hey, uh Matt. Matt. Hey, what's up? Got a question. What's up? Can you hear me? Uh, okay. Yeah, I can hear you. Do you have a, a Windows 7 disk? Uh, Windows 7 install disk? I do. Is it a, is it a home edition or an EOM? I can install... Any version. Do you think I could ask for your help tomorrow? Uh, I gotta go to my parents tomorrow, but I mean that's around noon. I could come up later. Why? What's up? That's fine. Basically, um, I've basically been having so many problems with Windows 8 that I need a Windows 7 install in order to uh, basically use my desktop. I'm having s that many problems. Okay. Thanks, man. Um, uh, I was actually okay. curious. Would you be able to make a uh, disc for that or no? For you to hold on to? In case I need to reinstall before I get my Windows 7 disc. Um, I might actually have a spare one. Oh, that's um, awesome. The worst... The, 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 I could probably make an image of it and just... I'll have one of yeah, basically, basically I've been back to dealing with Windows 8 again for like four hours and I've been streaming the game Windows 8.1 and my title is how to uh, how do you fix Windows I see and the community has been extremely helpful like I'm streaming now and my fr uh, like the community's <laughs> like Mr. Destructoid. Uh, and then there's like Strokes Beard and Confusion. <laughs> like what's what's been happening? Exactly. Um basically my computer has just been constantly crashing. Like my monitors just crash and then the computer crashes and then like other things like I'll go to load a game and I have extreme tearing, but with my hardware I shouldn't be having these problems. And then I just had an update to Windows 8 today, and I've been crashing pretty much since. And I've done like six or seven uh, Are restarts you... in like an hour. 
Are you blue screening or? No, just my screens will go black. I'll have audio and everything will be running for like five to 30 seconds or just forever. And then I have to hold down the power button to actually restart my desktop. Like, it's extremely bad. And Windows is like, <laughs> create a dump file. Use a third-party site. Send us the dump files. We'll get to it. And my computer's not creating dump files. And I went through the settings to create dump files, and there's still nothing in there. Mm, that's really interesting. Yeah. But, yeah, that's my Windows 8.1 disk. Uh, clean install too. Clean install. There's no dump files either. Right. Um, User disconnected from your channel. Oh, sorry if I made him leave. Uh, he wasn't even talking to me for the last like 30 minutes. I think he like fell asleep or something. I don't know. Um. I'm not sure. Oh, it cause. only creates dump files when you blue screen. Oh, I guess I'm not blue screening. At least Chrome is working now. Yeah, I actually didn't have access to my internet for like two hours right now. I've been trying everything to even get my internet to work, but like, apparently I had a huge memory leak, but in Task Manager, there was nothing going on. Really? What were you doing when you had a memory leak? I was trying to use Google Chrome, but yet it was loading up with Google Chrome running. Like eight different things. And when I'd click oh, Google Chrome, it wouldn't even load. Hmm. That's bizarre. Um. Sounds like if you're, if you're just going to a black screen and then it's it's like just a, on you. it's like uh like when your computer is like uh, trying to adjust display, but that black screen just never comes back. Like it yeah. never comes off the black screen. That's basically what my computer does. All three of my monitors go down. And this Sounds is like kind something of, graphics related. Graphics card related then. Be a bad driver. Could I be. buy power tells me to uninstall my drivers because a program made all of my drivers go corrupt. And I uninstall them and reinstall them and I still have the same issue. And then they said, Oh, any program made your uh, registry go bad. I get my reg I check my registry, it's fine. Then Windows eight says that I have problems with my hardware, but it, it says it's detected, but it can't tell me what it is. And then it tells me I have problems with my software, and it's detected, and it can't tell me what it is. Hmm. Like, I feel like if I go to Windows 7, all of my problems will be fixed. Because I buy power. Um, I've just got my desktop back not too long ago, right, right. before school ended, and basically I buy power gave my hardware a clean bill of health. Like, everything is working perfectly fine. But I started crashing like crazy today. Um, basically, these past four hours. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I, I, I can't do a lot based on... I can't help you a lot based on you just telling me. If I could see it, that'd be another story. Um, you know what Debbie Bomb is? Come again? You know what Dirty Bomb is on Steam? Dirty Bomb on Steam? No, I can't say I've ever heard of it. Um, it's a FPS. It's a okay. new FPS. It's coming out. It's come out in a closed beta right now. You can go get access to it and everything for free if you go to Alienware Arena or like the Dirty Bomb website. Basically, you'll get a you know an access code. Well, I've been playing these like you know closed beta games, and. Uh, World of Warship seems to be the only game that actually works well. But I get on another game called Hector, my screen is just tearing so bad, and then the game crashes. And then I'll, I'll check out Reign of Kings, it can't find servers for Reign of Kings. And then it crashes. Um, and then my computer will just start crashing out of the blue. After those crashes take off. And what Windows 8 says is that it's triggering my computer something is telling my computer to go into sleep mode and then Windows is trying to respond by doing a quick restart 
and hence why my display is sitting black screened. Well, Intel released driver a driver update that actually fixes this problem. I installed the new chipset drivers for my motherboard and that seemed to work for like two days and now I'm back to just crashing whenever it happens all over again. And like it'll be issues like uh, I can go to my event viewer and it'll tell me that it things have crashed due to lack of power. I bought a UPS an uninterruptible power supply. I have it hooked up to that, so I shouldn't be suffering a lack of power. But then it'll say due to programs uh, timing out for too long, and I'm not doing anything but playing a game and streaming. F and bomb. Yes, I have Hector, man. Hector doesn't work though. It crashes my computer. Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you offhand. I can definitely get you a copy of Windows 7 though. Thank you. Um, you'll, you'll have to be able to provide your own uh, key for the Windows 7, but I can get you the disk to install it. Okay. I'm pretty sure buying a key is going to be like $100, but still. Uh, I don't know what they cost offhand. Me neither. Looking at your stream right now. Hold up. Event viewer. Yeah. Oh look, that critical error isn't there in the last hour, but in the last 24, too. <laughs> Errors over a thousand. Is there anything you'd like to see? Um, yeah, open up the critical error, please. Probably gonna be about 50 seconds behind you, though. Right there. Huh. I'm running really slow because I haven't restarted in like three weeks. Who? Okay. There, there. Uh. And then I can go back and look at the errors and all that stuff as well. Yeah, I'm trying to. Okay, if free. Um, guys, just so you know, um, uh, Trinitro here. He's a uh, he's a good buddy of mine. We go to college together, and uh, you're going to you're going to the university for computer science, yeah? You're engineering, but most of the same thing. There you have it, guys, from the horse's mouth himself, computer engineering. So he'd be able to make more sense of this than I would. Just so you know, like, the people can hear you on the stream in case you're worried. Uh, it doesn't matter to me. I mean, due to the fact that I'm pretty sure there's a handful of people out there, streamers, that are suffering through the same thing, and they're just like, screw it, I'm going to get Windows 7. Um, this is like an issue where I don't have the ability to purchase Windows 7 right this second. And it's like, if we can figure it out, that's awesome. But if we can't, well, back to the laptop I go. Googled the um, critical error and I'm reading some stuff on it right now. The, the uh, critical error... Is that 41 kernel pop power? Yeah, I googled that to look up some stuff on it. 
who other people have had issues with. I looked at the administrative events here if you want to see that as well. Yeah, this tells me the number of events looks like. Oh, okay, now so you switched it now. Um, yeah, your stream's like 15 seconds behind you and me talking, so it's kind of weird. But, I mean, that's just Twitch delay. Oh, guys, don't be sad that I'm sad. It's just like, it's one of these things like, yeah, I was defeated like an hour ago, and now I have a buddy who's still on who's like, yeah, let me take a look at it. Let's see what you're dealing with. And he has more knowledge of, of this stuff than I do. I'm I'm all for possibly trying to find a way to fix it. Oh, and I can say the last time I did a clean install, I still like just randomly shut down. That's not a good sign. Yeah. Well, you guys are saying that this could be my power supply, but I buy power gave it a clean bill of health, guys. That's what I don't understand. Like, it's not my hardware. Then, it, then that means it's got to be my software. But if it's a problem, then apparently my reinstallation disk may be bad. And that's kind of crazy. Would a reinstallation disk be bad? Is it possible? That your disk could be corrupt, is that what you said? Yeah, my reinstall disk for Windows 8.1. I mean, that's possible, but I don't see it likely causing this kind of error. This this kind of error is pretty well indicative from reading this of hardware issues. Um, answer here pretty much suggests Disable any overclocking, check your memory, check your power supply, check your temperatures, put everything back to system defaults. Where is it? Wow, and this basically started at uh, like all of these errors started at twelve sixteen uh, last night. That's over half of my event viewer administrative events log. And before that, the 20th, started the same way at midnight the next day. Let's go back to the 14th, the last one that's currently in the log. Crash dump initialization failed. So is that why I don't have a dump file? If the dump is failing? That sounds like a good reason for you not to have a dump file. I mean, yeah. I don't... Usually what happens when the computer I uh, guess goes to a forced restart is it will dump the memory and anything else it can and somewhere on the hard drive um, so that it can determine what it was and you can look at it later but if it's causing it to night, do a force restart when it's unexpected 
like loses power or something, then it wouldn't dump. Usually, what happens? Usually, it goes to a blue screen when it gets to that kind of state, um, and that's where it does it. But the sounds of it, you're not blue screening; you're just going to a black screen, and then that's exactly what's happening. Like it just goes black, but all of my programs are running, and I could use my push to talk button to still talk in TeamSpeak, and I can still type on my keyboard if I'm already like in Twitch. But like I couldn't, I I couldn't see anything. And this is my fourth graphics card. Do you have anything that be, that you can use to check your computer's temperatures installed currently? Uh, there are programs no. out there you can use to check CPU temperature and GPU temperature. I can look at I can look at my temperatures currently on my display. Can you do that? Yeah, they uh, okay. I buy power attached the sensors inside my rig uh, this time. Oh, cool. CPUs running at 30C to 29C. Okay. Video cards at a stable 30 to 31. The one running hard drive is at 55. The other one is at 27. And the CPU checking now. Well, the other hard drive isn't even running. Why did I say 27? Checking the uh, average temperature right now. Twenty C. Okay. So one hard drive, fifty five. That seems a little bit warm, but hard. I mean, if it's running, I guess. Yeah, that's the hard drives, that's the yeah. one terabyte that's running the operating system and all of my. That's reasonable system. though. Yeah. Fifty fifty five is definitely a reasonable temperature. Yeah. And 30, 31 for your CPU. Those are perfectly reasonable, especially at idle. Um, well, I doubt you got, I'm sure you got plenty of, do you have water cooling or liquid? Uh, I have cooling? Uh, water cooling on the CPU. If I'm absolutely doing nothing and the house is actually pretty cool, I've seen it drop as low as uh, to 26, which I thought was awesome. Yeah, do you happen to know what kind of temperatures you hit while you're gaming? And streaming, um, gaming and streaming. I've never gone over uh, fifty with the three with the fans that uh, me and uh, Corey installed. Now, I sit in the okay. Uh, then mid, I sit in mid forties now. Okay, then it shouldn't be a temperature issue because those are perfectly reasonable temperatures. Can I try running diagnostics on my hard drive for broken sectors? Riff of Falks. What's up, man? Um, are you, like, is anyone here, like, tech? Like, are you a Windows tech, Riff? Yeah, running a check disk wouldn't be a bad idea. Where do I run that at? Uh, I'm not super familiar with Windows 8. Would that be in my event, uh, not my event viewer, but uh, the Windows thingamajig, like the the control panel? Uh, yeah, possibly. Like check disk slash R, I believe. Okay, I'll run that in the command prompt then. Yeah, you're gonna, I mean, yeah, you can run it through the, uh, yeah, you can run it through the command prompt. Um, Oh, uh, you're not a Windows tech, but you are in IT? Okay. Um, basically, Riffa, um, the problem I'm experiencing, and it's big, um, even if I do a clean install of Windows 8, my computer black screens. And then if I choose a game, like Hector on Steam, for instance, I'm suffering screen tearing and incompatibility issues but then all I'm being told is to uninstall and reinstall my my graphics card drivers and then I'm being told to 
upgrade all of my drivers for Windows and I do all of that and I'm currently running at the best drivers but then I constantly have to uninstall and reinstall my drivers so people tell me that I've done it but yet I'm still suffering the same problems and I barely like using my computer on the internet except to play games like this is my gaming desktop Wait, I can't run check disk? Really? can't run it while the computer is currently running the operating system. All you have to do is you'll probably have to uh, reboot it and it'll do it while it's booting. What? What? It just, it's, I don't know exactly what the reasoning behind it is, but it probably has, it has issues being able to check the entire operating system while it's currently running. I think Xanth99, I think he's probably telling you the right thing here. Way to schedule, schedule a check disk. Oh, okay, so go in here, right click this PC on the hard drive, click tools. I don't have a tools. I have properties. Okay, here's my specs. Windows, Windows 8.1. I have an Intel I better yet here we go properties why should I explain when this does it for me way to go I buy power installed stuff so whoopee I buy power More than one driver is causing problems. I think it could be an error in the storing of the drivers. So HDD, SSD, RAM error. Um, but if I do a if I do a complete clean install, then would that you know fix it? Because I've done that already, and the moment I installed anything that wasn't Windows, like Steam, I black screened. Uh, if, if it is an issue with your hard drive, solid state drive, or RAM, then a then, uh, fresh install wouldn't necessarily be uh, a solution to it. It'd be an issue of bad sectors on the hard drive or the RAM. Okay, then I'll try and run that SDK uh, program from Windows that is from my Skype. Let's try and make this thing work again. Hey, it's wanting to work now. Next. Um, next, accept, install, yes. Unless you have a bad hard drive or a bad SATA cable. What? If more than one, okay. Do you have a backup hard drive somewhere? Yes, I do. I actually have a secondary hard drive that has never been used. I've never touched it. Um, I specifically don't want to use the second hard drive that's inside the PC. So I basically have a running hard drive and then like I guess it I, the second one just idles or does nothing. Um, good try. 
doing an install on the second drive and see if that fixes your problem then. Um, see what happens with that. What's the, uh, what's the, oh, okay, you had, a, like, a bad SATA cable. That's the cable that plugs into the hard drive and the power supply? Uh, connects from the motherboard to the hard drive, but yeah. Okay, well, I, I mean, I just, like, I checked inside and was like, yeah, I don't want to mess with that. <laughs> Is there any way I could find out if my cable is bad without having uh, to unplug stuff? I don't know of any way you could other than just swapping cables and see what happens. Well, I mean, like, uh, would you be able to check each little port in it and see if they're, like, misfiring and stuff? Is that how that works, or...? Um, I mean, I could look at it if it looks visibly damaged, but I don't yeah, they're have all anything bound together. Like, to... They've just been together since I got the rig. Yeah, this guys, this Windows eight point one game is tough as shit. <laughs> <laughs> like it's so tough. That again, the running joke, Windows dropped the game because it was so hard. And they created it. Why do you think they made the next sequel, Windows 10? Wonder how much harder that game Windows 8 was so hard they had to skip 9. Yeah, you know, like they, they were afraid of 9. Think about that, guys. Oh my god. I believe that's what my Twitch says too, isn't it? Uh, Windows issues, how do we fix this? Playing 8.1. Windows 8.1, yep. I'm probably, I'm, I'm probably the first person ever playing a Windows 8.1. Playing a Windows anything. The first person. This is probably something that should be in the creative section on Twitch. You know, it's like art or music. It's an other. And uh, honestly, this is like live computer problems. I use four RAM components that are all eight gigs each. Welcome to the Windows Software Development Kit for Windows 8.1. Close. Okay, so what do I do with this Windows 8.1 Development Kit thing? There's a debug on it? Yeah, debugging errors without hands-on is hard. You're the only 8.1 streamer. <laughs> I know, I'm starting a new trend. I'm the only Windows 8.1 streamer right now. <laughs> I'm I'm the first of my kind. Like no joke guys, like I'm I'm looking, I'm watching chat. I'm just like uh my job is the weirdest. I manage a hobby in board game store and fix computers. Oh, oh, that's nice. Actually, it sounds like it'd be awesome. I'd 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 love to be like, uh, you know, the streamer I watch, uh, Russ Lohm. You know, I, I don't feel like we're in the same category because he's got like 3,000 more followers than I do. Um, but at the same time, you know, we're, that's, we're small. Make Windows 8.1 the biggest game on Twitch. <laughs> um, just use one RAM component if you reinstall. If it fails, then you use an, another more than one faulty RAM is very rare. Um, Riff of Falks. Um, I, I just got this back. Like, that's the crazy part. I got this back from iBuyPower, 
and they gave me the okay. I told them I stream video games. Like, they know what Twitch is. They know what I'm doing. So they ran even more tests on it. They checked all of my hardware. Everything came up green, you know, green for go. And they said they couldn't find anything. Why not just run Memtest86? Couldn't I do that? Memtest86 would be a good thing to do. Also, buying one RAM stick at a time would not be bad either. Is this something I could run off the internet? Memtest86, no. You you have to run that. Um, I think you usually run it while the computer is... Oh, like off the boot menu? Uh, no, you're going to need to download it. I could probably... I might have a disk with it somewhere. Memtest86, official site. Download now. Latest release date, February 15th, 2015. Oh, wait. The Pro... Purchase the Pro version? Um... I'm broke. Oh, you don't need to purchase it. Floppy drive. Who uses floppies anymore? I mean, I have one, but do I use a floppy? No. I just play with my floppy. It's all good. You can uh, you can run it off a disc, uh, CD, DVD, or even a flash drive. Yeah, that's what it says right here: CD, USB drive, and floppy drive. Like if I if I could you know, run it while I'm rubbing one out. Perfect, but th th floppy drives do not exist. You can't stick it in anymore. It says free where? E. It's right there, version 6.0. Oh, okay, yeah. ISO format? I can run ISO. You need to burn it to a CD. Uh huh. You could also, do you have a flash drive you could put it on? You probably have to have a clean flash drive. Ooh, I got a flash light drive. I have a loot crate, guys. You know, I've got my, uh, my sigil. My, my whatever, my sigil star crest or whatever from Game of Thrones. I will be king for a day. King for a day. This one? to burn it to a CD and boot it boot from it. Um, you can't stick it in anymore. No, uh, you can. There's a, that a USB version quoted. you can download. F and bomb. You're a mod. You can add the quote, bro. It's and slash uh, add quote space the name of the person space the quote. You can download a... Um, well, you can download one that you don't have to burn to a CD. You can put on a flash drive and then boot from the flash drive. And that. Yeah, I downloaded the flash drive one. 
Now I'm just looking for my flash drive without losing my crown. <laughs> it's a nice crown. Also, spreading the good news, we got Fantasy Star 2. Fantasy Star Universe 2, guys. Paid 22 cents on Amazon for it to be shipped from Japan. And I got it in like three weeks. Internet connection required because Sega has that no cheat thing on it. Just so we can play it in offline mode, guys. So happy we have it. Now I just got to buy the first one. That one's like $30. Ooh, here we go, guys. The Game of Thrones Stark Sigil USB flash drive. Loot crate. Alright, I'm trying to put this on a flash drive now. I'm actually curious if this little USB port came with anything on it. Nope. Cut. Paste. Do I keep it as a compressed file, or am I extracting it into its own folder? You'll need to extract the contents of the zip, and it should open. Doing it now. Uh, do I extract it to its own folder, or do I extract all of it into the USB? Um, you're going to want to put it in its own folder. You're actually going to use a program that it will extract, extract from the zip uh, to create the, the USB drive. Oh, okay. I was using a uh, seven zip. Seven zip's fine. Doesn't matter how you un it's just any seven zip when RAR when what Windows has installed by default will all work. Guys, thanks for actually being here. It it literally looks like we've gained uh, a viewer or two. All right, effing bomb. Good night. Health plus twenty. Huh. Yeah. Meds acquired. Oh my goodness. Okay. Do I run the application from where it is? Um, so you extracted it, I think I downloaded it too. Got it. Um, should have image usb.exe. You don't have the exe because I have it to show file extensions. Um, you just need to double click that and then it'll pull up a image usb pipe passmark software. 
Okay. It should say so. Okay, so you're gonna need to select the USB drive to be processed. Um, yeah, it looks like it showed up there for you. USB FAT32, yeah. Okay. It's there. Um, which protection be from it? Uh, right UTUFD should be fine. That's what it should be default to. Select the image. It probably will already have the image selected properly for you. Uh, step four, click the right to UFD button to begin. Wait for it to finish, I suppose. Okay. Should I just click OK? Hello? Oh, I think. Sorry. Um, I, I had to. I, I see it on the screen like 15 seconds after you do it. So um, I think. Did you extract the contents to the flash drive itself? I extracted it. In the hard drive or in the flash drive to the folder. Okay, yeah, you do. Um, the problem it's having is that you extracted the con the program to the flash drive, and then you're trying to set it up on the flash drive. So you just need to move everything off the flash drive and then run it again. So, okay. So go ahead and click OK on that notification. Close out the program. Move all the files to some other folder on your computer that's not on the flash drive but you'll know where it's at and then like the flash drive and it should work properly okay here we go alright trying again You've chosen to write an image to a USB drive. Um, US source memtest, yes. From the hard drive to the USB. Is this correct? Yes. Final warning, the contents of the selected drives will be replaced. Continuing will cause destruction of, da of the data and possible loss of capacity. It's not that much, is it? Is it over four? Is it over four gigs? Um, it's just saying that there's any data on the flash drive. It would wipe it. Looks like the flash drive was blank, so huh. don't have to worry about it deleting anything. Xanth actually said yes, like he was talking to me. Xanth, I can't hear you. If I could hear that far, dude, I'd be a fucking superhero. <laughs> All right, it's writing. It's doing its thing. <sighs> Riffa here, the chat, if he still hears in IT tech. It's kind of awesome that someone found me probably after we did Windows 8.1 as the uh, title and then made our game Windows 8.1 imaging completed okay so now what do I do well you'll need to reboot the computer to that flash drive um, forget what the fault you have to press during the boot sequences. The like F12 or delete or something. I don't remember. Um, when the computer's booting, there'll be a screen that flashes. Oh, I press F like 11, like repeat. Yeah, you press one of the function keys usually, and it'll let you switch. Might be F2 actually. 
I'm going to let you switch which device you boot to. Um, and you'll boot to the flash drive, and then I don't know offhand what you have to do from there. Um, there'll probably be a GUI that will help you work through it. Um, curious, could I... Could I call you from my home phone? But if if you're gonna do that, could you send it to me via Teamspeak? Uh, yeah. Um, right now though, I mean, and I know it's kind of you want to get this I done. I can do it but, tomorrow, but okay, yeah, because it's I gotta be up the hours, so I'd really like to get some sleep sometime soon here. Um, I just didn't want to leave you high and dry. No problem. And this is like, like literally just trying to like run Windows 7 on my computers like that thing, you know what I mean? Like you said, I'd have to get a key, and I understand that. Um, if we could get the computer working to where I could use online, that's uh, where I'd still have to have a key. Right, yeah, I, I have the installation media, but it wouldn't be a legitimate install of Windows. Which, streaming from a non-legitimate install would probably be a bad idea, but... Hmm, wow, to see all of you guys still here, literally just hanging out while we try and figure all of this out. Should I try and play, like, Wind Ward for you guys while I go through this stuff tomorrow? all of this other complicated stuff and hope that maybe we can um, use everything while we're playing a small game what do you guys think oh and I can exit this thing right the uh, yeah thing. once it's finished it looks like yeah the bar is full so it's probably done okay go ahead and click exit on it Yay. last year should be be ready I think um you still want me to get you? Still want me to give you my phone number and Teamspeak? Uh, no. I mean, because I'll be on Teamspeak tomorrow. I'll okay. just leave okay. my computer up and um. Hmm. You better. It, it's probably a better idea to do that in the Teamspeak, yeah. Like me and you personally. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it probably wouldn't be the greatest idea. That way, I can just, there. That that way I can save it in my house phone. See, what are friends for, guys? Let me see if I can find this damn song. I think here it is. People let me tell you go. about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy, cuddly toy. My up, my down, my pride and joy. People let me tell you about him. He's so much fun. Whether we're talking man to man. You got sound open? Me? Yeah, you got sound on the screen? Uh, no, I muted it so I wouldn't get the like, reverb kind of effect, I guess. I'm playing a song for you, man. Oh, I muted it. Best friends, guys. Best friends. <laughs> Surprisingly. Kind of weird to hear myself. Huh? Kind of weird to hear myself. I like myself <laughs> to sound that way. Weird, isn't it? Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm glad you guys think it's hilarious because uh, I thought it was great because he's like I don't want to leave you hanging 
<laughs> it's like, okay, I had to go do this. Because he's looking up stuff for us. He's helping us out. Oh, look at you guys, like, asking each other for a Windows 7 key. Look at you guys. Thanks. Like, I mean, if you got a spare key just laying around, you know, that's one thing. But if, like, it's the one you use, well, you know, two computers can't be running at the same time on the same key, can they? Like, on the internet. Wow, no. I'm dropping frames like a true uh, champ. Yeah, you are. Like, I don't understand either. <laughs> I hear you with Riffleflax or Riffleflax. Ah, it depends on the key. Interesting. Okay. So, like, some yeah, people... there are. Huh? There are keys that you can that give to like. Schools and enterprises and such, they can just use the same one for a bunch of different computers, but... Oh, for, like, businesses and stuff? Right, so they don't have to get a key for every single one. So... Yeah. And that sounds like an EOM key. Uh, offhand. I mean, it's just not consumer version ones. They're ones that you buy, you know, you pay ridiculous amounts because you're intending to install it on hundreds of computers and give you the key and you're good. <laughs> I'm intending to install it onto my computer hundreds of times. That's what I'm intending to do. <laughs> Let's see. McFussy Bear. I'm going to call it a night. Hope you get it all figured out, GameKey. Thank you, McFussy Bear. You know, you guys, you guys definitely saw my rant earlier. Oh my god. I, I'm just like Windows 8.1 and 8 have defeated me like oh I'm done <laughs> I give up I give up and it's one of those things like when I first was getting it you know oh Windows 8 and 8.1 it's this great bright you know bright new thing everyone's using it no problems whatsoever um guess what nine months of problems and they've still not figured out what's wrong with my PC. That's a problem. Hey guys, do you think I should play Santa Claus? You think I should uh, dye my beard white? Just let it keep Santa growing? Claus. Growing out my beard, like some length to not not quite up to your standards, but uh. OEM keys are only allowed to install on one PC. For PC vendors, the normal keys you can install up to three to five times, but you can just ask Microsoft to reset the keys and you're good to go. Interesting. Sorry, I had to play it again. Let me tell you about my best friend. He's a warm hearted person who loved me till the end. People let me tell you about my best friend. He's a one boy, cuddly toy, my up, my down, my pride and joy. People let me tell you about him. He's so much fun. Whether we're talking man to man or whether we're talking sun to sun. Cause he's my best friend. Yeah, he's my best friend. And basically, uh, Matt, it's just like this. Like, I'll be able to just all of a sudden out of the blue, the computer will just be working for me. And then, like, it'll just crash into that black screen. And then I'll have all of these problems and nothing will want to work again. Um, quite honestly, I'm surprised. It's almost at the exact same time as it did yesterday. But for not as long. Like, 
when I realized I was having problems yesterday, um, it was already like 11, 12 o'clock. And I was just like, oh my God, you know? And today it's like, was what, did we get done somewhere around midnight with like Life is Strange? I forget. What do you uh, what do you guys remember? It was like for me on East Eastern Standard Time, guys. Yeah, we're not listening to that. In Timmy Dad Con Dios, Part Five. It does not help. I have three machines running and about nine hard drives with about four terabytes of crap on them. Wow, Zant. <laughs> why? I know why? that feeling. Why do you have so many computers? I mean, I have three computers sitting around me. I have why? Two more back to my parents' house, I think. Huh? Kind of hold on to old ones, try to find uses for them. Network attached storage and such. Oh, why don't you just use them laptop. as servers? Well, they're too old to be used as servers for much of anything. But, why not just uh, no, have one, like, just be like Minecraft, and the other be like TeamSpeak? Oh, one could, well, yeah, that, could, that would definitely be possible. I could, probably, I could probably do both on the same computer, actually. But Like, just leave, like, one crappy one for, like, small game servers, like... Hey, we're all getting on Terraria today, or hey, everyone's getting on Minecraft. Let's get crazy. NAS server, media server. <laughs> oh my god, guys. Pretty much. That's what happens when you're a computer nerd. I, I only have this badass gaming rig. I don't have, like, crazy stuff. I just have a badass like expensive gaming rig and I just really want to give content guys and I thank you for being here for all this craziness and like right now I don't know why I don't know why my computer's working now my internet's running I can use I can use Google Chrome I don't know why and I have a laptop I have a laptop too um, however it's crap <laughs> Uh, my laptop actually has enough to run as my secondary PC, but I know it does not have the computing power to be running as my secondary PC. It has all of the specs and requirements to be so, though. But just like I should be able to run Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls on it, I can't. It runs at like 20 frames per second. And then when I see too many graphic effects on the screen that you can't turn off, even though everything's in low, it just runs at like one frame per second. <laughs> or it boots me from Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Like, I really wish Twitch would allow us to do the... Uh, movie thing again, but Twitch will never do that. Twitch will never do that again. What were they? What way, was it? way back before Twitch started like regulating like so many things, um, you could actually sit and watch movies with your favorite streamers. Could they just they would just broadcast movies half halfway across the day? Really got into a lot of issues with copyright though. Yeah, and that's and that's what became the big problem. Yeah, Riff of Fox, I'm, I'm also a student at the moment. Um, I'm going for my degree in athletic training. So, yeah, I know the feeling, man. I'm now going into my third year this fall, and two years of general education just for my degree sucks. <laughs> Movie thing? Like, what? Um, quite literally, guys, um, you used to be able to watch movies on Twitch. This was like a few years ago. And it was like awesome because you could sit there with your favorite streamer and comment and make fun and, and do all sorts of goofy crap all day long. Well, those, those days are over. You can't do it. 
But again, I don't know why my computer's working right now. I have no freaking clue. I can't tell you why my computer's working or how. It just is. Now I'm not experiencing any problems. Do you normally crash when you're gaming and all that? Um streaming and gaming, um it's now it's it's quite literally just particular games. And it's quite literally been all of my scare games from Steam. Like Hector tears the shit up out of my monitors. And you have to watch the opening scene, like the opening uh, cinematic. And in that cinematic, my computer just crashes. Like it gets to the exact same point and tears my, my monitor so bad. And then it just yeah. like crashes the game, Steam, and it crashes hard. Like it pulls from other programs at the same time and crashes those. So like I'll have to restart my computer or I lose all of my streaming and restart my programs and then everything's fine but I cannot play Hector. I can't even play it when I'm not streaming. That's that's how bad the tear, screen tearing is. And I buy power said, "Yeah, that shouldn't be happening. That's not good." So, I'm assuming the game is pulling too much resource. That's that's the only guess I have. And 32 gigs of resource is a lot. Well, you have 32 gigs of memory, but that isn't with other resources that could be pulling from. Of yeah, and I have like something like I think four gigs. Let me let me double check. Of video memory, probably. Um. Yeah, there's an iBuy power support number. And I don't oh. care. Hector has fairly low requirements. Recommended processor 2 gigahertz Pentium 4 or equivalent. You are way past that. Memory 3 gigabytes ATI NVIDIA card with uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. I mean, you're, you're beyond all of those by quite a large margin. Yeah, Definitely I have at least DirectX like 9.0C. Check vid card temps while under heavy load. Uh, um, yeah, that's what I was asking about the vid card time. I'm looking at your chat too. Uh, from what you said, you're only getting to what, like 50, you said? C. Yeah, like I barely, but like I'm not putting the games in like ultra and like high. I'm running them in low because some of the games I've been playing are not optimized. So they're going to use more resources because they have not been optimized. So I run everything in like medium and it's great quality. So everything stays like, at least in temperature wise, everything stays pretty damn cool. Um, my video card has, since I've installed the fans, I have not reached 50 C on temperature yet. And I have the, uh, I have the sensor inside the video card, like where we should be feeling the heat. I mean that that'll be pretty accurate, not necessarily exactly accurate to video coach temperature. But I have it on uh, one of the uh the coils, the heat coils. I mean it, yeah. And it it reaches I think the highest I've seen is like forty eight C. And this is like the good working graphics card, whereas the previous two bad malfunctioning ones that weren't built right were running uh, upwards of 60 to 65 C and then they would just be shutting down programs on my computer like the game would shut down OBS would shut down and maybe like one or two other programs would shut down due to temperature and the computer was like saving itself before it hit the critical point where it starts like actually alarming from inside the PC that's weird most 65 65 isn't actually all that hot for a graphics card. Um, 65C, that is. Yeah, I think uh, it's due F to... crazy cool, I actually. Think, like, basically, like, uh, there's an alarm system for when the PC starts reaching 
uh, 75C, like that's critical point on the uh, on the temperature gauge that's on the on the display, like the touchscreen display. And basically, at like 70, it's starting to it starts to close out programs. But at like 60 to 65, I would be my computer would be doing that. And I was like, hmm. Talk to iBuy Power. They checked the hardware and were like, yeah, these two are like, you know, defective. We're giving you another one. And then that one ran for three straight months from December 18th to the very first week of March. Not a hiccup. I could put the games on the hardest, most, like, you know, intensive graphic settings and stream and run music and then run videos. Like, I could do whatever I wanted for three straight months. And I never had a single hiccup. And then I started crashing out of the blue. Uh, with a Windows 8 update and then my computer's never been the same since ever and that's even with I buy power giving me a brand new graphics card rerunning a uh, doing a clean install wiping the sleep clean and then saying here you go and then I've done two clean installs since I got the PC back to try and fix any problems uh, yeah, I'm running an AMD R9 290. Yeah, thank you, Xanth. But I mean, yeah, it's like, even 65 is not even that hot for a graphics card. Most computer, well, CPU and GPU can hit 90s and still run all right. I mean, that's where you're talking, you're pushing it a little bit. Uh oh. 65 is not bad. Oh, I clicked details on it. Events. Eighty-four to eighty-five Fahrenheit are very good temperatures. Is that what it is in Celsius? Eighty-four, eighty-five Fahrenheit. No, that's like thirty degrees Celsius, roughly. Double check, but Twenty-nine, roughly, is eighty-four. So twenty-five is going to be paid. That's pretty close. All right, so we're going to attempt something. Let's see, Steam. Hey, look, it's in. So I have a Windows Seven Home Premium. Um, a parent. Oh, that you're a parent. Really, Xanth? So, okay. Um. Okay, Matt. Do you have a Windows Seven? Uh, home pr uh, premium edition. Yeah, I got um, like an installation Windows disc seven. because apparently I have a key that I can have. Xanth, dude, yeah, amazing, can... dude. Thank you. Yeah, I got it. Windows Seven is pretty cool. The way they did it. Um, it's actually, if you have any disc, uh, it has every version of Windows Seven on it. You just have to remove. You can see ID at CFG from the disc. Which there's tools that can do it for you, and you can install every version besides Enterprise. But oh my there's god, no reason Xanth for just gave me the key. Hey Xanth, could you Twitch? Could you PM that to me in Twitch? Because that would be freaking awesome, man. Like, oh my god, I gotta write this stuff down now. Guys, because of Xanth, like I'm looking at a Twitch message right now from Xanth with this with the Windows Home Premium key on it. Dude, Xanth, thank you, man. Thank you. 
I'm also going to write it down on the back of my disk here on my Windows 8 installation and I'm going to mark the key that I have on my Windows 8 installation because I have it here um, I'm going to mark that as Windows 8 and this key that you're giving me now is Windows 7 thank you man and and Trin uh, thank you for the help tomorrow yeah I can do uh, what what time will be best for you tomorrow? Um, um, I, I'm here, uh, like, I'm, it's the summer. I'm not working, and I have all the time in the world. Okay. Um, at the moment, I need to go over to my parents. I'm planning on going around, around noon. I grab lunch, and then I got to take care of stuff. I just got a new lawnmower. I got to put it together and all that. I, might have to, I don't know what I'll ask to put together, but I have to do something with it. Um... I don't know what else I have to do, but I shouldn't be there for too terribly long. It takes me, I think, by probably half an hour to drive up to Akron to get to where you live. Eh, probably not that long, 20 minutes or so. Um, I'll have to, I'll have to talk to you and get the uh, address. Actually, I think you have it. Anyway, I right, get the address and use my GPS to make sure I remember how to get there. That's but, not a problem. And then I can bring that disc. I will double check it before I head over just to make sure it still works. Um, it should be good though. You know, I just install Windows 7 64-bit home premium. Uh, if you get the key, then throw the key in it. And <laughs> That's awesome. how it works. That's awesome. <laughs> All hail Xanth99. As soon as I clicked <laughs> on message, it closed the stream on me. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you have to, uh, when you click, when you go and pop up the message thing, you actually have to right click and open in a new tab. I do that no matter what for everything now because I stream. I don't want to close out my tab and other tabs that I'm looking at because I have a third monitor that I use to surf the internet. One monitor is used for utilities and the main monitor is gaming. So that's how I run my entire setup. I love I love the PC. Uh, since I've gone to PC gaming I can tell you right now dear lord never stop making PC games that are awesome. Make all console games PC version 2. Because they just look better. Um, Trend Dude, you're a lifesaver, and Xanth, you are also a lifesaver. Guys, thank you for trying to help me set up absolutely everything and trying to fix this. Um, we are getting ready to at least just get uh, this put onto YouTube. <laughs> and at this point, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. Sounds good. Um, Trent, thank you, man. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> Xanth99, so I saw none of the praise of me. Um, uh, Xanth99, I hope that key will work for you. My deepest apologies if it doesn't for whatever reason. All right, Xanth. <laughs> Thank you, man. That is awesome, dude. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, do you guys have any questions for me about anything? Twitch, OBS, streaming, gaming, anything before we wrap up here? If you want to test your GPU, you can use the MSI Afterburner program and run the burn-in test. Hope it's solved tomorrow. Uh, no problem. Hey, Riffle Fal uh, Falks. Um, basically, I stream seven days a week, bro. So feel free to come back any day. Um, I have my reg regular schedule set up. Um, basically, around 5 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. No matter what, I should be streaming, give or take. Um, also, guys, 
check out the Twitter. Follow me on Twitter because I tweet a lot. If I'm having issues and I'm not streaming at my regular time, check my friggin' Twitter because it's there. The reason why I'm not streaming is there. Um, and then you'll see when I'm streaming or what I'm doing or what's next or if I'm going to be streaming that night. Always check Twitter. I update a lot. <sighs> All right, should we go? Let's go. Let's go uh, raid. How many people are here? How many people are in the chat? I want to go raid somebody before we finish the night. I'm going to look at my list of people I follow and see what we got. If every, everyone who is here for the raid, press 1 in the chat. Type 1 in the chat. My bad. Type 1 in chat if you guys are all here for the raid. Xanth99, if I need to get a hold of you tomorrow, hit you up on Twitter. Okay, will do. Anyway, uh, glad I could help. It is 4.40 in the morning here, so I think i yeah. going to bed. Uh, ditto. Um, basically, like, I don't mind going and hosting or slash raiding a streamer. So that's basically what I'm doing for the end of the stream. We're going to go raid somebody. And it's just going to be fun. We're going to do like a simple game raid, you know, and, and make light of our situation that we've had here today. I just can't believe so many of you stuck around. Good, good night, strange voice on the stream. <laughs> That is freaking awesome. Oh, wow, really? He's on? Oh, my goodness. Okay. We'll check out a buddy of mine. Okay. Here's how it works, guys. You guys are just going to go in there and do the game raid. I don't care. But I'm checking to see if my friend is going to continue to keep streaming. That's it. Jets mods are here, behaviors. <laughs> Well, if y'all like what you see, hit that follow button. Well, I have 121 followers right now. Holy, holy. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, guys. Um, I greatly appreciate it. We're checking to see if he's staying on now. Steve Samuel. Thank you, guys. I do really appreciate it. Holy cow. Thank you. Thank you, Kiki. Oh Thank my you. god. Hey Kenji! How you doing brother? <laughs> I think he was getting ready to end his stream, but now he's just being follow bombed right now. Oh my god. Thank you, Methub. Hit the follow button. Uh, there's been shit on me, chat! Oh my god. Thank you, Mr. Bigglesworth. I'll even, the, I'll even do the finger for you. Thank you, Mr. Bigglesworth. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Bobby Lee Loader. 337 followers, congrats. He's gonna be streaming wow. for a while. Yeah, I'll be doing some Grand Theft Auto 5 after this. Well, in a little while, guys. I'll be doing some Grand Theft Auto 5 online. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Um, here's what's gonna happen, guys. He is gonna be awake, so we are gonna go... Yeah, yeah. F and bomb, you already know who this is, man. We're gonna actually go uh, raid this guy. He's really cool, good friend. Um, we've actually been on his talk show, Pixel Podcast, and he's kept us around. Um, he's very big into YouTube before he started Twitch, so guys, definitely pay him the respects he deserves because he came from YouTube and said screw this i'm actually wanting to play games i want to be on twitch i want to make this work so he has a community that has followed him very cool dude though all right i'm going to post his link in the chat guys and just jump in there and give him a game raid and a shout out he's going nuts with follows right now
And the message will be a game raid, just like that. It'll be a game raid, just as you see it in the chat. GAM3 space raid. So guys, get over there into his channel, give him a game raid, and let him know we are watching, my friends. Austin, peace back! Keep it going! Okay, first things first, I want to say thank you to all the new followers. Welcome to the Cobra Nation. My name is Deceptive Cobras. I am host here. <laughs> I do oh, oh yes, it will be on video. <laughs> oh, Wolfenstein, right, it will be done on stream. The arcade is now open, guys. Go over there, give him a game raid. Get in there, guys. That way I can cry during the podcast and you guys can drink my tears. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the wax, wax, wax. Apparently everybody wants to see you waxed. <laughs> Alright, we are hosting him for the end of honey. the night, guys. Oh no, get it. Just be glad it's Have not a good the night, chest. Guys. Hey, oh, hey, Danny, it's game raid. Good night, Trinitro. Oh, God. <laughs> Here more. Oh no, no, God, no. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have to mute. I'm gonna have to mute the. I'm gonna have to mute the commander if he keeps that up, because I'm gonna be trying to play my damn tanks. 